Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, Richard, son of the Eagle, Lorte. And his opponent across the ring, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, Nathan Gorman. It's a little bit rust in already, early stages in this opening round. Just signs, possibly, that Gorman's timing's a little bit out. Bob Williams, the referee with the task of keeping the action going between these two big men as they start to unload a little. No real clear power shots landed. Larty, as we saw against Daniel Dubois, though, is very, very prepared to back himself as a power puncher. A couple of decent left hooks already in this round from Gorman. Lovely left hook on the inside, does Nathan. You can throw a neat uppercut as well. There he is again, right see as he comes forward, that little left hook, as, Mar as Larty just misses the target. So Larty's got to keep that right hand nice and high as he's coming forward to block that left hook from Gorman. That's a good left hand from Larty, but again comes bundling in, a little bit disorganised, and Gorman fairly easily able to tie him up. Yeah, that wasn't bad from Larty though, John. He, he caught Gorman there with a couple of shots. There's that left hook again from Gorman. That's a better shot. See, that's what he's got to do, Gorman, to keep popping that jab. It just keeps him off balance, that does. There's the quality left-hand lead from Gorman. A bit of marking under the left eye of Gorman. It was probably that right hand in the last round which has caused that, which thudded into the target. See, there's Larty again coming forward. That was a better right hand. Larty just looking a little bit disorganised and crimped when he gets Food inside. and reckless, isn't he? Oh, he's got time, but that's doubling up on the jab beautifully for Gorman. That was terrific work there from Gorman, because again, basic jabs hitting the target. And they were power jabs, weren't they? And Larty really felt them. That was good work from Gorman. He was rocked back, wasn't he, by two left-hand leads. And again, Gorman doubling up as the jab as he advances on Larty in the closing seconds of that round. And that right hand only just whistling past the bruised cheekbone of Nathan Gorman. Gorman, just a couple of little clubbing reminders of uppercuts inside. Gorman content to keep on trying to spear Larty from range. Larty didn't miss by a long way with that right hand again. Larty now blowing a little bit from his exertions in the first 90 seconds or so of this eighth round, and as Gorman leans on, that excess weight of the man from Nantwich will be felt every pound of it by Larty. <laughs> Left hand from Larty, landed clean, but he can't sustain anything. Larty coming steaming forward, trying to keep Gorman under pressure. Seconds out, ten, last round. And now, three minutes away. It would seem a way from returning to winning ways. Oh, they look at the right yeah. hand. Gorman took it well. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards.
Judge Marcus McDonald scores it 99 to 92. And both judges Ian John Lewis and Terry O'Connor score it the same 100 to 90. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Nathan Gorman!